Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, InfinityCustomWorks.com, Foxy Drop Campers. Gary Dean detailing all the things. So we do lots of things, uh, which is why this channel is about to get a whole lot more guy stuff and a whole lot more videos about things. I'm evolving as a person, as a craftsman, as a detailer, as a businessman, and I'm bringing you along for the ride. So I've got a 2023 Lexus IS 500 right over here. And we're gonna do my uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde system. It's dirty. If you saw part one, you basically saw the car already and caught my information and description of the system we're gonna use. And so there's the car, not horrible. Got some nastiness here and there, but it's awesome. All right, time to pull my El Camino out of the garage and get this thing in the garage and then I'll bring you back whenever I am uh, getting rolling on this thing. All right guys, so I've got the body all washed and decontaminated with my ultra fine Japanese clay bar. So it's all ready to go for the correction part. Um, you can see there are scratches there. There's scratches there. There's a scratch there. Just lots of random scratches. Some bug poop stuff. Scratches all over here. I don't know if you can see them, but... Oh yeah, you can see them. It's just got scratches everywhere. <clears throat> so, like I told you, with this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde system, you can choose to mow down the defects, which the Dr. Jekyll compound uh, has a lot of the filler stuff that the Mr. Hyde has except for the Mr. Hyde has more of it and is designed for finishing and one steps. So with that said, this car doesn't need Dr. Jekyll. It just needs Mr. Hyde. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how I get these scratches out. Um, it's hard to see the uh, defects. I can see them really well. Um, but I am going to tape up half the hood, actually a, a quarter of it, and then use the Mr. Hyde, which is what this car is going to get, just that one step, uh, and it's going to fill in a lot. I did not clean the wheels le uh, yet. Remember I told you we're going to get the polishing done so that the blend that's in it can cure and basically harden up in the scratches and that kind of thing prior to applying the Fast Five Ceramic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing polished. I'll bring you back to show you um, what it looks like before and after with the Mr. Hyde. And that Mr. Hyde is what I showed you guys yesterday in my group. It's Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. This is the Mr. Hyde. I teased everybody in my group with that question mark. Um, so I'll go ahead and get some tape on this and do a couple tests and I'll bring you back to show you what's going on. Um, I just wish I could show you more of these defects because there are a good amount of them. They're not absolutely horrible, but uh, the Mr. Hyde is going to do a great job of hiding all the defects and locking the... Uh, the blend into the scratches so that when you put the ceramic on, the ceramic will lock everything in and look amazing. And it will look like that as long as you keep up the maintenance. And for me, maintenance is a wash with the maintenance shampoo or infinite use detail juice, infinite insanity, um, either one, either of the three, every 30 days, 
And then you can use the booster if you want. Uh, Fast Five doesn't really need it, but if you want it to last indefinitely, uh, if you use the either Infinite Insanity works great or the Cer Ceramic Acrylics Blend spray coating, that actually does a great job of maintaining uh, the Fast Five as well if you want it to last indefinitely. All right, well, I'm gonna get the tape on and get some uh, polishing done and I'll bring you back to show you the results. And then I'll get the whole car polished and then I'll clean the wheels while that's curing, like I said, before we put on the ceramic. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have done a test spot right there. If you look closely at that light overhead and that light overhead, you can clearly see the difference in clarity from where the Mr. Hyde polish was. So I polished this whole thing right here with that get up right there and the Mr. Hyde polish. Okay, so my DeWalt 15 millimeter throw with a buff and shine orange pad. Now we're gonna inspect it together. Okay. Can you see how obviously clearer it is here versus the this side? If you just look where that light is, this is infinitely clearer than that side. You'll also notice that all of the minor defects are gone, and that's a combination of filling and actual removal because the product this mr hyde polish definitely still has aluminum oxide abrasive in it it's a very small particle abrasive that does a great job of cutting but an even better job finishing i can tell you if you if you are familiar with paint correction you know that this lexus paint so toyota is very different it's painted differently. They use different paint, even though it's uh, the same company. Toyota paint is typically uh, about a me medium middle of the road in hardness. Lexus tends to be on the softer side, in my experience. This is no different. And if you, if you like I said, if you're familiar with um, just correction alone, you know that the softer the paint is, the harder it is to finish, but the easier it is to correct. So the fact that with a medium aggressive pad, and, and to be perfectly honest, I could probably improve the finish, which I probably will. I'm actually going to step that pad down. If I have a white pad, it's a little less aggressive than the orange, uh, but I might find a red and use the red pad that has no mechanical ability and just allow the pad, uh, I'm sorry, just allow the machine and the polish to uh, refine the finish. But wow, a lot more gloss. If you just look where the tape line was, all inside that line and this line. So everything here, I polished. Everything outside that line, I haven't polished. And you can see all the issues in the paint. You can see the haze that is just everywhere. And then over here, I mean, just look at that light versus this light. Big difference in clarity. That Mr. Hyde polish is some serious stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I got a lighter pad so that I can get an even better finish than this. But this right here is would be more than acceptable to anybody looking at this in person. More than acceptable. I've never had a client that I wouldn't be happy to give this finish to, but I believe that I can do even better than that by just going with a lighter pad. So that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, Mr. Hyde did a great job of removing some swirls and light scratches and filling in a lot more. Now. Nothing is going to fill every scratch. Um, as scratches go, every single one is a different depth and different like jagged edge than the next one. They're all very different. And you can see there's a heavy scratch right here. You might be able to catch that in the light that didn't get um, filled in. It's just super deep. 
Um, what we are going to do is once we put the Fast 5 ceramic on top, it will further fill and bond fantastically to this polish. That's the purpose of it. It has a priming catalyst in it that helps the ceramic to bond and the ceramic has um, its counterpart in it to create a physical and a chemical bond. So this system works fantastic together. All right, so I'm gonna grab a lighter pad and just rock and roll with the car. I'm gonna get this thing knocked out and then I'm gonna start on the wheels. So we'll bring you back when I've got more done. All right, my peeps, this thing is polished. Now, this is the time when I'm gonna jump on the wheels, get those all cleaned up. But man, this paint looks amazing. The gloss is sick. And when you get up on it, you can see all of that metallic as I pan over the paint. You can see the metallic just sitting there. It's so clear now. I just finished polishing. Like I mentioned before, I switched to a red pad because it has no mechanical ability. So I relied on the polisher and the Mr. Hyde to, well, hide it all. Correct a little, hide more. Uh, but it's all done now. And uh, it needs the 30 minutes to cure, and then we can put on the Fast 5 ceramic. I'm going to go ahead and get these wheels clean, and I'll bring you back before I put on the ceramic coating. All right. She's ready for the coating application. I got all the wheels and the brake calipers and the barrels and everything all clean. And it took me 23 minutes to do the wheels, and I really wasn't rushing. So in that time, we allowed the Mr. Hyde goodness to cure up. Only takes 30 minutes. A little less time when it's hotter outside. Uh, today in my shop right now, it is 79 degrees, 41% humidity. Pretty much perfect detailing weather. Could be, I don't know, 5 to 10 degrees cooler and I'd be all right. But uh, anyway, so she's all good. Got... All the wheels are clean and she's ready for the coating. So I'm gonna grab the Fast Five, grab my microfiber applicator, which is how I prefer to apply that product. And uh, we're gonna get rolling. So I'll bring you right back. Good. All right guys, so just a quick recap. I got the wash, the clay bar treatment done on the car. I then went ahead and polished everything with the brand new Mr. Hyde polish and the DeWalt 15 millimeter throw DA and a Buff and Shine orange pad I started with, but I quickly, as I mentioned, switched to a red pad that has no mechanical ability and it turned out amazing. Now, after I got done polishing, as I mentioned, I went around to give the, to give the product enough time to cure and harden prior to putting on the coating, I went ahead and did the wheels. So now we're on the Fast 5 coating application. Got a microfiber applicator. Uh, there will be kits with the applicator. I like to put on just a few. I hydrate it pretty good like this and you could do literally half the car with what I just used, which was barely anything at all. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and apply it to half the hood real quick. You prime your applicator just like so, and this is it. Go over everything really nice. Make sure that you are covering everything. No need to overlap. No need to um, cross hatch, as some like to say and do. I typically will do, I don't know, about a third of the car at a time. Um, this is, like I mentioned already, this is literally the fastest coating application and removal I've ever had to do. This is awesome. This ceramic is the best I've ever produced in my 15 years being in the product game. I've never produced a better coating than this in strength, durability, gloss, ease of use, 
And hey, there's also that price. This price point is incredible. So I've already applied it to all the way around. I've got plenty left on this applicator, as you can see, plenty left. I'm gonna go ahead, get the other side done. So we're gonna do the front clip, basically. It's drying up a little bit. I wanna add a little bit to the applicator, just like so. Prime. All right, and I've applied it to the entire front clip now. No need to wait, no need to let it tack up. You literally can take a clean towel and start removing this stuff just like so. See how easy that removed? Boom, baby. We on a rocket ship. Detailjuice.com rocket ship. That's how we do it. Buffs right off with no residue, no issues with hard, uh, high spots ever. It's just way easier than it's ever been before. Less expensive. You guys are getting all the goods. Merry Christmas to my Detail Juice Nation. All right, I'm going to finish getting this thing knocked out, and I'll bring you back when she's done. You're going to love it. All right, boys and girls, 2023 Lexus IS500 complete. Let me show you what I did, even though I've been telling you what I did since I started doing what I was doing. Let me show you. All right, so wheels are coated as well as the paint and glass, headlights, taillights, fog lamps, all of the trim. It is what it is, people. I got the calipers as best I could. I sprayed some stuff in there and I got in there and just figured it out. So all of that, except for the barrel, is done on all four corners. Sometimes my towels leave crazy little streaks. Gotta figure that crap out. I hate it. So, big job. <laughs> big job. <laughs> I use my uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde system. Uh, I use the Mr. Hyde polish. And it looks phenomenal. Look at that metallic. Right where the sun's at. Check it out. The clarity, that metallic is awesome. So we use the uh, Mr. Hyde polish as a gloss enhancement polish and it hides some of the de defects and it cures in place to accept the coating application of the Elite Master Coat Pro Fast 5. The tires got my Dress to Impress tire dressing 50-50. But the car looks absolutely stunning. I coated the tailpipes, this piano black area, all the trim, all the glass. I also love to ceramic coat all of the camera lenses because in the morning in Florida, a lot of times, especially in the winter time, it doesn't get 
cold enough to freeze most of the time. However, um, it does uh, produce dew in the morning. And when you've got dew on those lenses, you can't really see out of them, especially the reverse camera. You know, there's one there, one on each side and one in the back. And I believe there's one right there on the windshield as well. But as far as uh, those cameras go, when there's dew on them, you can't really see through them. And so what the Fast 5 Ceramic will do is not allow that dew to stick. So you can see out of your rear view camera in the morning time. God, the metallic is sick. This color is absolutely stunning. Man, it really turned out nice. Super happy with it. All right, my client's about to be here to pick up. And I gotta get some pictures, so check out Gary Dean. Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation on Facebook. It's a group where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, it's a group for you, if you are an amateur, to learn a lot uh, and just keep up with the happenings of, well, me. 813-846-4406 if you'd like to book a detail. Let's talk about your project. Let's talk about your budget. Let's talk about what I can do for you and your vehicle to make it look absolutely amazing. Again, 813-846-4406 is my cell. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble and watch my videos. Have a great day, guys, and thanks again.